it's going to be fun. I love this perfect photo transfer. Which one do you like? So much fun to do these tests. <laughs> In this video, we're going to find out what are the differences between doing a photo transfer with an inkjet printer versus doing it with a laser printer. Basically, inkjet versus laser printer. <laughs> I think it's the number one question people always ask me. What should I use? So yeah, that's what we're gonna test today. I know some people prefer to use a laser printer for a photo transfer, and some people don't have a laser printer. <laughs> Yeah, so I hope this video will be helpful for you, especially if you need to decide between getting an inkjet or a laser. So I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be an interesting test. I use both laser and inkjet printers, but I never really tested them like this and compared them to each other. So this will be a really interesting test. Also, we need to keep in mind that some processes don't work with an inkjet printer. Obviously, other processes don't work with a laser, but let's keep it simple today and choose a process that works with both laser and inkjet. So the process we're going to do today is pretty basic and nothing fancy. We're not going to do anything complicated today. <laughs> For this process, we can use different gel mediums like soft gel medium, or we can even use glue. But I'm going to use matte medium mainly because it allows immediate transfer rather than waiting overnight for the transfer to cure, like we would have to do if we use, let's say, Mod Podge. And we can also transfer to many different surfaces like wood, canvas, metal, glass, or even a mirror. So I'm going to transfer my photo to this nice piece of craft wood. Okay, so first let's make the laser transfer. And by the way, when I talk about the laser printer, it also refers to a toner-based photocopy machine. So you can just make photocopies of your photo and use that. We need to print a mirror image of our photo on standard copy paper. And before we begin the transfer, I'm going to coat the wood with a thin layer of white paint since it will help make the final transfer a little brighter. Next, I'm going to coat the wood surface with a good amount of the matte medium. It's important to cover every inch of the surface because areas that don't have enough medium simply won't transfer. Now I take my laser printed photo and place it face down onto the wet medium. And I press it down with my fingers. It's also a good idea to use an old card to smooth the photo down and remove any air bubbles. And now I'm going to let it dry a little, but only for about two to three minutes. And if you like this process, you're going to love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. It's available on Amazon, so check it out soon. When the transfer had dried a little, it's time to remove the back of the paper. I'm going to start from the edge and remove the paper, and I'm careful to not remove the image itself. I like it when the paper comes off in one piece like this. Next, I'm going to use a brush to apply clean water to the back of the transfer. And I'm going to use a sponge to remove the rest of the paper. And again, I'm doing it very lightly, being careful to not remove the image. And I'm not sure why, but when I transfer with matte medium, it's just so easy to remove the paper. And if you like this video, it will be great if you can like it and subscribe. I make these type of videos every week and you don't wanna miss one. I'll be very happy to see you again. <laughs> and now back to our transfer. So now when all the paper is removed, we can see we got a very clear photo transfer. Now let's transfer our inkjet photo. And again, we need a mirror image printed on a standard copy paper.
And again, I'm applying a good amount of the matte medium to the wood surface. And like I did before, I'm placing my photo face down onto the wet surface. And again, I'm going to let it dry just for about two minutes. And now it's time to remove the paper. Nice, we did it again. All the paper came off in one piece. But as you can see, a lot of paper is still left behind. So here is what we're gonna do. I'm simply going to coat the transfer with gloss varnish. Now that it's uh, dry, I think it looks great. So let's see it side by side with the laser transfer. Okay, but I think in order to make the whole test the same, I'm also going to cover the laser transfer with gloss varnish. It definitely has some paper left over on the side here. Inkjet? Laser? Which one do you like better? <laughs> I can't choose. I like them both. So as you can see, both laser and an inkjet photo transfer work just fine. But they definitely look different. The laser uses a clear image and you can see most of the details in the photo. It's very clear. The inkjet, on the other hand, is not so clear. And it seems like the ink is somewhat smudgy and it's not even black. It's almost like a greenish, bluish kind of tone. And it even looks like the ink is somewhat faded. So the inkjet almost looks grungy and even vintage. And I think some people might like this look. I myself often prefer it over something that is totally perfect. So maybe the laser transfer is too perfect. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you prefer? Perfect or vintage? Which one do I like better? I'm not sure. But also keep in mind that inkjet is not as archival as laser and it tends to fade over time. Even if you coat it with acrylic sealer it still tends to fade over time. So it really depends on your final piece. If you need it to be more permanent, so you probably wanna go with a laser photo transfer. And if you don't care if it's permanent or not, then inkjet is just fine. So maybe the laser transfer is, <laughs> so maybe the laser, <laughs> all right. You need to focus on me. I don't know what I'm saying. Not sure it's recording. Is it recording? Let's see which one. Uh, but I never really compare them uh, like, like an old tradition. Never mind. I just can't get it right today. That's what I wanted to say. I hope this video was useful and you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.